reconnaissance effort of both sides, utilizing RF-101 and RB-66 aircraft, varied according to the phase of the exercise. Missions were flown both day and night from Luke and Norton Air Force bases, gathering visual, photographic, and electronic information on installations and movements of opposing task forces. During the pre-hostility phase, reconnaissance aircraft were used primarily for border surveillance to guard against a surprise attack by enemy ground forces. This was accomplished by flying visual and photographic reconnaissance missions. Aircraft on these missions patrolled the river boundary. Their mission was to observe the enemy deep in his own territory without violating the border. This was done by using the technique of high and low altitude oblique photography. As a result of Mojave's concentrated reconnaissance missions, when reconnaissance aircraft returned from a mission, the exposed film was rapidly downloaded and rushed to a photo processing cell. While the film was being processed and interpreted by photo intelligence specialists, they were flying day and night, gathering visual, photographic, and electronic information on men, hardware, and troop movements of the opposing task forces. Scales in favor of the fictitious country of Colonia. For initiation of hostilities, the role of tactical air reconnaissance expanded to conduct deep penetrations into enemy territory and to remain on air.